Fancy, I'm back again with another video. Okay, this time is going to be my reaction to Seeking Sister Wife on the Learning Channel. It comes on every Sunday at 10 o'clock. Man, this program is really, really crazy. I did not even know about this program until I was on YouTube and another YouTuber um, did a video. Okay, pretty much it's three couples who are looking to add to their family. These are, um, well, two of the families are put, um polygamous families and then the, the first family i mean the the uh the third family is not really a polygamous family if you don't know what polygamy is it's when a man takes more than one wife it's illegal you can't go to prison for that because it, it's illegal in, in america to have more than one wife you know this is not africa oh you know so there are three couples okay three couples the first couple is the the briny family they're out of Utah. It's a white family. The husband's name, I think, is Jeff. No, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The husband's name is Jeff, and he has two wives. The first wife is Vanessa. She has three kids, and she met the man. I think when she said, I think she was twenty-two or something. Then uh, Jeff picked up another wife. Her name is Sharice, and she met him when she was like eighteen, and he was like forty-four or something. They have three kids, so it's a total of six kids, but they want to add to their, you know, family. So the first wife, Vanessa, is pregnant with her fourth child. But last week, the midwife, you know, put the monitor to, you know, to hear the heartbeat, and they didn't hear no heartbeat. So this week, the midwife came back with the um, sonogram machine, and she didn't see any baby she's she said that there's like some kind of like mass so it's apparently it's some kind of like disorder where it mimics the signs that you know the signs that you're pregnant but you're not really pregnant some kind of like growth or something in her stomach but these people are okay they have this problem and then they will they were searching for another sister wife this lady named melina that knows the second wife, Sharice, she was like, you know, all, you know, down to be a sister wife. But, you know, she was supposed to come down to Utah to spend time with them, you know, meet the, you know, meet all their kids. And this lady never showed up. So obviously, you know, she was, you know, bullcrapping these people and, you know, you know, set up their hopes. So then we have the second family. This is the Aldridge family. They also live in Utah. And the husband's name is Drew. He's a lawyer. And he has three wives. The first wife is April. They're, they're, they've been married like 20 years. They have eight kids. But only but only six live with them in the house. Then the second wife is Orly. They have six kids. And then the third wife is Angela. She's 40. She just had a baby. Now, the first two wives don't get along. And like Angela is like not really getting along with the first two wives. It's, it's just bull crap, okay? And then this guy is a lawyer, so he should know better. He should know what he's doing is illegal. He told the kids, if the neighbors ask you who, you know, Orly is or who, you know, April is, you know, you can't say it's your mom. You have to say, like, you know, one of them is like, you know, a, a family friend or their nanny, which doesn't make any sense. So you're telling your kids to lie. You're telling your kids to deny who their mother is. And then one little boy, he's like, well... If they ask me if you're my dad, I can't say you're my dad. And he's like, no, you, you can't say I'm your dad. All of that is just bullcrap. Okay, but I'm really doing this video for Dimitri. Yes, Dimitri and his nasty butt. The third family is a African-American family out of Atlanta, Dimitri and Ashley Snowden. They are a young African-American couple. Dimitri is 36. Ashley is 31. They have two kids, a, I think, four-year-old daughter, no, I think a five-year-old daughter and then a three-year-old son, and the wife is pregnant again. So they're looking to, they're seeking a sister one because Ashley said she doesn't want any more kids. Three, you know, that's it. So they were saying that they had met, they thought they had found the perfect, quote-unquote, sister wife. And the person had kids of their own. And they all moved in together, you know, in a house. But the lady was, like, showing more interest to Dimitri. She wasn't really showing 
interest towards Ashley. It's like Ashley is looking for someone to be like a friend, like a sister. It's not anything like sexual. She's not going to do anything sexual with the lady. She just wants that person there as like a sister wife, as like a friend. You know, someone that yeah, I guess she could talk to, maybe confide in. I don't know. That's, I don't know. So, they go on some, they, they go on our website and they find this girl named Jocelyn. Now, this girl is 22, which is very young because they're in their 30s. And she's a flight attendant. I don't think I don't even think she lives in Atlanta. I think she lives somewhere else. I don't I don't recall. And they left her a message, and the young lady answered back. And she was like, you know, oh yeah, you know, I'm down to be a sister wife. You know, I like you know, the, um, you know, the um concept, you know, of what you guys are um trying to do. So a few days go by, and then. The young lady texts, no, yeah, they arranged to meet up the young lady, but the young lady messaged Dimitri, and I'm like, why is this lady messaging Dimitri? Shouldn't she be messaging Ashley if Ashley is trying to build a bond with this, you know, person as a, as a quote-unquote sister? That part didn't make any sense. So, they all meet up to, um, at dinner. And, you know, they're talking and Ashley is giving, like, all the right answers, you know, to, like, what they're, you know, saying. And, you know, they think that they have, like, this connection with this woman. So then Dimitri asked if he could go out on a date, you know, one-on-one you know, one -on -one with, with Jocelyn. And, the wife, and Jocelyn said yes, and the wife agreed. So the, the, um, the night of the date. Dimitri is acting like he's some kind of like teenager or something. He has like all his clothes on the bed and he's acting real excited to meet this woman for this, for this you know, first date. So then, you know, he, go, he goes out on the date. He, Dimitri goes out on the date and then um, John Sullivan comes. And he's, man, he's acting all excited. Now, mind you, this man is married. Okay. And he's like, I love your eyes. Your eyes are so beautiful. And she's like, I love your smile. It lights up a room. And it's like, you could see they had kind of like a like chemistry going there. So then, you know, they 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 um, finish the day. And then Jocelyn gets in a car and she leaves. But then it's said on the screen that after the cameras, after the cameras um, stopped um, recording, that they went somewhere. Okay. This man, Dimitri, did not come home until maybe like eight, eight o'clock in the morning. He was gone all night. So Ashley was like, "Well, you know what happened on the on the date?" He's like, "You know, the the date was cool. You know, we were um, you know, vibing. We, you know, the conversation was um, was um, you know, nice." So then she's like, "Did anything happen?" And then he dropped the bomb, guys. Dimitri admitted that he slept with this woman. Yes, guys, yes. This man ended up having sex with this lady, Jocelyn. Okay? But I already knew that was going to happen. Because the way he was looking at that girl, like he wanted to do something to that girl. Like he wanted to jump on her or something. I knew he was like sexually attracted to the girl. And that the girl, Jocelyn, was sexually attracted to him. There was a lot of sexual attraction going on, guys. So I wasn't really surprised. But I was surprised that he did get the lady on the first day. I mean, I mean that is wrong. You took a vow before God, okay? So what you're doing is not right. And plus, they had um, the Ashley and Dimitri have this rule where he's not gonna have, you know, he's not gonna do anything with the person unless you know him and Ashley discuss it. And he broke that rule, you know. So on tonight's episode, the wife is like, okay, let's invite Jocelyn out to lunch. So that, you know, she could admit that, you know, she slept with this man, you know, because it's her husband. You know, it's Ashley's husband. So they go to lunch. And they're talking. And Ashley is just like, you know, I hear you guys went out on a date. And she's like, yeah, you know, the, the date was fine. The conversation was um cool. And Ashley's just sitting there. She's waiting for this Jocelyn woman to admit that she slept with Dimitri. You know, this bitch never did admit to sleeping with this lady's husband. She was just sitting there and talking like everything was like, you know, all cool. She's not mentioning that she slept with the man. Okay. 
And then she like made up some excuse that she had to leave early and then she got up and left. And then they were just sitting at the table. So when Ashley and Dimitri got home, they're like, you know, he's like, she looked like she was scared, like she was nervous. I guess she was scared to admit that she actually slept with this woman's husband, you know? And Dimitri is like, you know, it, it was my fault. You know, I should have never, you know, slept with this lady, you know, on the first, you know, date. You know, he took responsibility as a man. So you can't, I mean, he's wrong because you're married. But at least he admitted, at least he admitted his part. But this bitch, this Jocelyn woman, she, she didn't admit what she did. And Ashley's like, well, she doesn't have no respect for me. And she sat there and she didn't admit, you know, what happened. You know, it's all about respect, you know, you know, in the in the sister wife, you know, um lifestyle. And she's like, she's she's gotta go. That that's it. They cut Jocelyn off. But okay, here's my thing, guys. I don't understand these people. Okay. Dimitri and Jocelyn are an attractive couple. Attractive young couple in Atlanta. They're not Mormons. So why are they why are they trying to be in this bullcrap? This, like, sister-wife bullcrap. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. Look what happened. The man slept with this lady. Okay, Dimitri is a man. He's not going to turn down sex. I mean, yes, he's married, but he's a man. And he was attracted to her, so he wasn't going to turn that down. All I'm saying, guys, is this lifestyle... Like really doesn't work out, you know, because the the the, the two the, the man and the woman will be attracted to each other and something's gonna go down. But you know, the the, the couple is you know, the 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 two people are married, so you know, it, I don't know, guys. It's just a very very strange situation, and I blame Ashley because you should have never agreed to go on with this bullcrap. Okay, you're bringing in another woman around your husband. No, you don't bring another woman around your husband. You leave that alone. Look, look, as I said, look what happened with Jocelyn. You know, the whole, and, and, and the, the girl was too young. She was really too young. She was, she's only 22. So I figured it was going to be some kind of bull crap going on. And I was right. But I, I, I figured that, I, I figured she was not going to admit it, you know, to his wife's, I mean, to Ashley's face that she, you know, slept with, you know, the lady's husband. I mean, she, nobody's going to sit there and admit to somebody's wife, you know, that that, you know, happened. Child, I'm telling you, this program is really crazy. I am just watching this program for Dimitri and Ashley because they're making African-American couples look bad. Okay, since when are African Americans into um polygamy, you know, in, into the sister wife lifestyle? To me it's just to me they look like weirdos and they look crazy. But um I can't wait to see next week cuz you know they're still on the hunt for another quote unquote sister wife. So we'll see how that plays out. <sighs> Man, I'm telling you this 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 program is really really crazy, guys. It's really, really crazy. You need to check out Sister Wives on TLC. It comes on Sunday at 10 o'clock. Man. I'm, I'm <laughs> as I said, this, the, the African-American family, I'm just blown away as to how crazy they look on TV. You know, because that's, anyhow, it, it, it don't even matter, guys. If you saw the episode, guys, comment down below. How do you feel about uh, Vanessa? You know her um situation you know with the you know the growth you know what do you think about dimitri and his and, and, and his um nasty bud <laughs> and jocelyn too for being nasty so um just comment down below guys don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to your girl okay and i'll catch you guys in the next video